Yeah, good morning to everyone. Again, welcome back to another uh, to our online class. Yesterday we have discussed about uh, Arcan group, and Arcan group it is divided into the five uh, provinces. Those are uh, Dharwar, Eastern uh, Province. Central Singham uh, Province, Aravali Province, and Central uh, Provinces. And also, Arkham Group, it has a metallurgically wealthy group, and it's consisting of uh, main uh, deposits. Like uh, iron ore, manganese, chromite, gold, copper, lead, and zinc, tungsten, uranium, nickel. Mineralogically, it has a uh, own development. And today we are going to discussing about the protozoic uh, group. In protozoic group, it has a very long uh, period of denudation. It's parts of uh, Archean uh, craton, and it's a sun tallow basin uh, were covered by the middle and upper protozoic basins, and it is identified in a peninsula of India. The water type it is uh, restricted to cratonic. Uh, margins and uh, another one it is a uh, confined to into the cratonic uh, parts the basins are the mainly do dominantly its composition of uh, argillaceous carnaceous uh, formations along with the uh, subordination of uh, calcareous rock there is a sharp contact between the archaeans and uh, protozoic and it's overlies uh, the protozoic it overlies on the archaeans with a profound of unconformity, it is known as Eparkian unconformity. This unconformity, it is exposed, well exposed uh, on the foothills of uh, Tirmala. And the Arcan, uh, Eparkian unconformity, it's uh, located between the Arcan granitic rocks and uh, Baron Kunda quartets. And the Bayer Kunda quartet also it's called as a uh, Nagari quartet. So it is marked by the conglomerate bed. It is a preserved uh, a national monument by the Geological Survey of uh, India. The Karpa Basin is also called as an intracratonic uh, basin. And the Karpa Basin it has the massive intrusions and uh, uh, other formations. Now let us see the Indian Peninsula, the prototype form of formations of Indian Peninsula. It is uh, divided into the two main uh, parts. Uh, one, it is a lower Purana, second one, it is the upper Purana. In lower Puranas, the Karpa supergroup, Kaladi in supergroup, and Paka supergroup. And uh, when you come, it is uh, equivalent to the northern uh, peninsula, the lower uh, one. Uh, the lower ones, uh, the southern peninsula, it has a uh, Karpa super group, Karaki group, Pakal group, and uh, it is uh, equivalent to the northern peninsula and it has a lower Indians, Gwalior uh, group, uh, Bezawar group, uh, Kohan group, and uh, including it, uh, so Delhi super group. When you come into this uh, upper Puranas, in the upper Puranas, the, uh, it has a uh, uh, southern pen peninsula of uh, formations. Group and Karnal group, Bhima group, Sulavai group, Indravati, and Chatis group, Chatis Gad group. And it also has the unconformity between the lower Puranas and upper Puranas. When you come into this is the northern peninsula, it has upper Indians, 
Oh, Maloni Volcanica. Remarks. Uh, the Karapas were followed by Vinians. After the time, the interval is marked by earth movement uh, and it has uh, some erosion. Vindian supergroup, it's uh, derived the names, the great of uh, Vindian mountains, it's uh, developed in the central part of India. Uh, Old Ham in 1895 it demarcated the great uh, sandstone formations of uh, Bundelkhand uh, and the Malwa as an uh, Indian system. And it's uh, covering the large part of the peninsula of India, uh, spread over the more than uh, one lakh uh, square kilometers in the parts of Madhya Pradesh. Uh, Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, and Rajasthan. An area about uh, 78,000 square kilometers of India basin is considered under the uh, uh, Deccan tracks, and it has aluminum of Indo Gangetic plain. Vindian supergroup it is uh, comprised of vast stratified formations and uh, sandstones, shales, limestones, and contains the average thickness of 4,200 meters. Sorry. Yeah, next coming to the Kalapas. The Kalapas supergroup is uh, formed and it's a crescent uh, shaped basin. It is located in the south uh, central part of Andhra Pradesh in the Telangana states. And it's occupying the area of uh, 44,500 square kilometers. And it is distributed in the parts of Chittur, Anandpur, Kadapa, Karnul, Mayabnagar, Nalgunda, uh, Guntur, Nellur, Prakasham, and Krishna districts. And also, it's a consisting of uh, uh, 12 kilometers of uh, thick segments with a minor volcanic farm as a several uh, discrete uh, basins. Karapa supergroup and Delhi supergroup, it's a very contemporaneous and uh, available of geological, geochronological data. It is indicating the oldest rocks in the basins about uh, 1750 million years, uh, which would again uh, assign them into the median protozoic to corona age. Now coming to the starting group uh, succession. Uh, the starting group succession, uh, it was uh, explained uh, by the W. King in 1872, the rock formations of a Kalpa basins are more than a century ago. The rock sequence are divided into the um, lower and upper Kalpas coming to the, and it's consisting of a uh, Papagni, Chayet, Dallamalai, and Krishna series. Each of the these a Karpa supergroup, it is marked by an uh, unconformity, but a major one it's after uh, the base of an Alamalai series. Recently, geological survey of India remapped the entire basin and it is, uh, they have given revised to classification of a Karpa basin. The rock sequences have divided into the Papadni, Chitravati, and Nalamalai groups. Yes, you can uh, observe one thing here. Previously, uh, previously it uh, was uh, consisting of a four series. Those are uh, Papagni, Chayer, Nalamalai, and Krishna series. And when you come into this, is a new classification of this uh, uh, Kadva super group. The rock successions are having the uh, divide into the three major uh, groups. Those are the Papagni, Chitravati, and Nalamaya, Nalamalai groups. The starting group of these uh, Kadva super group with the estimation of a thickness for each uh, unit. Yeah, now this is a Karpa supergroup, just you can see here. And this is a Karpa supergroup. Um, now, coming to the classification of the Karpa supergroup. Once I... Yeah, now this is a Kalpa <coughs> basin. 
you see here karpa super group uh, the formation how it was uh, uh, settled from basement onwards yeah little stratigraphy of a karpa stratigraph karpa basin yeah karpa it is an a very important uh, major protrogeic basin and it's a covers an area about 44000 square kilometers and the length of this is a uh, Oh, area is a consisting of a 450 kilometers along the accurate uh, eastern margin and with a width of 150 uh, kilometers and its uh, shape it is looking into the crescent uh, shape the basins it's uh, divided into two halves the first one it is the undeformed uh, it is in a uh, western half rudravaram uh, line and second one it is the uh, Nalamalai thrust fold bench. The accurate of uh, north and the southwest boundary of a Kadapa basin is marked performed by the Anthan Parmichi and it is uh, based on the basement uh, granite and it's enclosed in the greenstone uh, uh, belts of uh, Kadri, Veligdalu, and uh, Tundapalle. In the south and the right, to Gadwal and Pedavur in the north. Uh, not the paper park in Anton Parmichi. Now you see here the in our Indian uh, map where it is a uh, uh, Karpa basin. Just you can see here it is in a uh, east the it is in a uh, east the our uh, craton. Yeah, protrusion sedimentary basins are uh, given here. You can uh, see yes this is a kadapa basin and the basement uh, granite uh, nice complex so it's surrounded by this one the pink it is uh, showing the basement uh, nice complex and in our kadapa basin chitravu chitravati group uh, it was uh, located here and Papa Kingi group, it was located here. Nalamala, you see here the Nalamala, this side is almost, it is the carbon shape it has. It's a crescent uh, shape we are calling that in this is. In the granitic composition, the basement granite, it was uh, here. In uh, Sri Shailam group, you can see into the Sri Shailam group, the, here it is in a, almost in the northwestern part of a Karpa basin. And above this is one, Along the above this one, Karnulu group was located. And it is indicating the yeah, you see this is a lithostratigraphy of a Karpa basin. We come from down on this. It is a reclassification of a Karpa basin. Uh, along with its thickness, you can uh, see the base, uh, crystalline basement of a Darwar crater. Above this, here, unconformity was formed. It is called as a, uh, a park in unconformity, but uh, in the map, in a, in a stratigraphical, uh, stratigraphical succession, it was not uh, shown here. But anyway, you can see. Here, Papadri, Chitravati, and Nalamala groups. Now, coming to this uh, Papadri group, the thickness is, is about around uh, 2100 uh, meters, and it has a Vempale formation. And uh, the Vempale formation not only uh, somatolite, lytic uh, dolomite, it has a jet, quartzite. Uh, basic cells and uh, along with uh, some volcanic flows will be also we can have to identify here. Uh, next one coming to the Gulcher quartet. The thickness of this is a Gulcher quartet. It has a 30 to 210 meters. Uh, it has a basal conglomerate. It has a basal uh, conglomerate. And along with that one, Arcos quartet with uh, shale interbates we have a uh, scene. And next, coming to the Chitravati group. 
the thickness of the chitravati group formation uh, it has a 4900 to 5000 meters and again it is a divided into the three formations the first one it is a pulvendula quartzite uh, the thickness around it is a one two approximately it has a 75 meters of thickness uh, the formations are here uh, quartzite and conglomerate uh, when you come into this is a tadipatri formation uh, this is the highest it has highest thickness uh, overall in a <coughs> carpostatic geography uh, tadipatri formation it has a 4600 uh, uh, meters and also the formations are mainly um, we will observe here shale felsic uh, to basic sills and flows chet somatolytic uh, dolomite quartzite the um, the main thing it is here we will get some fossilization in papakni group and chitravati group also there in tadipatri in tadipatri formation along the shales and felsic felsic topes and after completion of that the formation in a dolomite formation we will get uh, some uh, fossilization uh, this is uh, belongs to the stromatolites and next coming to the gandicota quartzite the thickness of a gandicota quartzite it is uh, 300 meters and it has a shale quartzite or alterations glauconite quartzite interbeds and next coming to the nallamalai group the Nalamalai group, it has a thickness about uh, 3,500 to 6,000 uh, meters. And again, it is uh, divided into the four formations. Uh, the one, it is a uh, Byron-Konda quartzite, and another one, it is a Nagari quartzite. The thickness about the uh, Nagari quartzite, it's a uh, 4,000 uh, meters. Quartzite, quartz, wedge, shell, basal conglomerates. And Bang Byron Konda quartzite, it has a 1500 meters. The formations are quartzite, quartz, beds, shales. And when you come into this, is the full lumpate formation. Uh, the full lumpate formation and the Kumbu formation, both it, it has together uh, having the 2000 uh, meters of a thickness. Shales, felsic, uh, to barite, dolomite, quartzite, and mainly slate and the pillite set. Dolomite formations we have identified in the Kumbam formation. And finally, when you come into this, is the uh, another formation is the Sri Chalan quartet. Uh, between this is a Sri Chalan quartet and the uh, Kumbam formation, so we have to identify the unconformity formation. The Sri Chalan quartet thickness it is around about the 300 meters. It has the formation of a glauconite perigenous quartet with a shell. And one more uh, point uh, I missed here. Uh, uh, there is a one angular unconformity. You can see here one un angular unconformity between the Nazi quartet and the Gandhikota quartet. The thickness are very important. When we are uh, uh, studying all these things, the thickness are more important. In examinations, uh, they are concentrating with the questions on uh, uh, thickness. Kernel uh, group. Yeah, later we'll discuss the Karnul group because of uh, we are discussing about a uh, uh, super supergroup only. Okay, coming to this is a uh, uh, the Karpa super group. You can see here the little stratigraphy of a Karpa uh, basin. It's a comprises of a Karnul group, and there is an unconformity between the uh, Sri Shalem quartet and the Karnul group, and again one more unconformity between the Nalamala group and uh, Sri Shalem quartet and. Uh, one more angular unconformity we can identify uh, Nalamala and uh, Chitravati, and there is a discomformity. It is the discomformity between the Papagni and uh, Chitravati. And uh, here, one actually between the Papagni and Krishna and basement of Darbar Kretan, it has a Eparkin unconformity. Actually, uh, it has a Eparkin unconformity. Yes, uh, next coming to this one. Uh, wait. Yeah. The Papadni group, it's a rest, it's an unconformity and a granitic basement. 
and it's uh, with a profound angular unconformity over the greenstone belts of uh, East Darwar Crater. And it's a consisting of a lower aerovalicious sequence and an upper carbonate sequence, uh, and it's uh, topped by the uh, basic volcanic uh, cells. And the group is uh, consisting of Wimpelli formation with the uh, Kupalapalli volcanics. And it has a Wimpelli formation along with this one. We can uh, uh, identify the stomati like a limestone, jet, quartzite, basic uh, cells, and flows. Bulgeru quartzite, it is indicated as a basal conglomerate, arcos, quartzite with the shale, and along with the uh, interbeds. And when you come into the detailed study of this uh, Chitravati group, the Chitravati it is a distant from you all like the Papadmi group, and basal conglomerate is uh, marking. And it's consisting of a lower uh, pulvinar quartzite and uh, upper Tarpatri formation. That's already we have uh, seen in the next uh, Nalamalay group. The Nalamalay group, it's a overlaid Chitravati group. Uh, it is a deformed and carefully metamorphosed shale, silt, uh, stone, quartzite, uh, dolomite, and the sequence of this Nalamalay world wells. The group is uh, consisting of uh, Kumam formation, Pulumpet formation, Byron Konda quartzite, uh, Nagari quartzite. And the maximum, these are all the metamorphosed rock and consisting of mainly the composition of this one quartzite only. And later on, basal conglomerate and shales, uh, felsic groups, some barites were formed. A seashell quartzite. <clears throat> the seashell quartzite so lies uh, on the Papagni and Nalamale group. And it's also consisting of a unconfirmity. And it is marked by the local uh, conglomerate. The quartet, it is a horizontally bedded and it's a uh, comprised the glauconite bearing of uh, ferrogenous quartet. Exactly, the ferrogenous were was formed. Ferrogenous means iron orient, iron ore related uh, material. The uh, iron material, it is associated with the quartet here. So that it is called as a ferrogenous quartet. Uh, and little amount of minor uh, shales, that means the less amount of shales also uh, we have uh, found here along with the quartzites. And there are some geological age. Yeah, pre Karpa basement dikes are uh, two prominent ages. At one, it is uh, uh, 2100 million years, and another one it is uh, 2400 million years. Rubidium strontium dating of uh, dolerite and uh, pilcrite cells of a pulvendula. These pilcrite cells of a pulvendula we have identified in the formation of the other sheet rocks. We can, we can identify these uh, cells in the formation of a sheet rocks nearby the pulvendula. So that uh, later on, this uh, pulvendula name, the formation it has uh, uh, given. Pulvendula formation name and the age it is about around 1800 million years. Uh, the study of uh, potassium and organic ages, uh, some of the dolerite dikes, and it, these are underlining the uh, basement basins. And it's also similar to the age of a previously uh, what I told you that is uh, 1800 million years. And the, the age of uh, Galena and uh, Mica in Kumbam Chains, it is a 1354 to 1450 million years. Rubidium strontium age per dolerite dike into uh, it's a entering or it's a introducing the dikes in Karnul uh, Basin. And it has a 900, the age about uh, 980 million years. That suggests to the, the age it is a, a mesoprotrogic age. For especially in a purple granola growth. The economic importance of this is uh, uh, uranium, it was uh, found in Wimpelli formation, Papadmi group, and the host of this uh, phosphatic uh, dollar stone. It's promising the mineralization to Malapalli, Rajakuntapalli, uh, and Gandakipalli. And not only that area, and recently uh, AMD scientists were uh, found. Approximately the same uh, mineralization zone in the uh, Chittal area of uh, Sri Shalam uh, quartzite, and the host rock it is here the basement uh, granite. 
and the diamonds uh, found as a place of deposits in the uh, uh, Banganapalle quartet of uh, Karnola group, limestone and dolomites, trisotile isom as asbestos, steatite, Welfalle formations uh, from the Papagni group, and uh, ornamental uh, stones like a uh, jasper, uh, chet, etc., ledging deposit post dolomite uh, in Pulampetu formation. And uh, next we go into the Karnolu group. And also we have uh, some uh, equivalents of uh, uh, Karpas and that is also we'll discuss. Please wait. Uh, where it is? Yeah. The Karpa equivalent or Karpa group equivalents. The sedimentary basins of a Karpa basin, actually, it is it belongs to the Purana edge and it's uh, formed in the parts of a Maharashtra, Kaladgi, Maharashtra. It is a Kaladgi, Telangana as a Pakal basin, Varishan, Madhya Pradesh of Chhattisgarh basin. Uh, the Delhi super group of Rajasthan differs from the Purana of other parts of a peninsula. It is a more uh, uh, intense folding and the amount of uh, igneous activity. In, in the Purana parts of the peninsula, it's a more intense folding the amount of igneous uh, activity. So uh, based on this igneous activity, the um, Delhi supergroup of rocks and its occupying occupying a very large extent area in Rajasthan from Delhi to Idar. And it has a full development being found uh, in the main Rajasthan geosynclines of uh, Ajmer, Merwar, and Mewar uh, area. The extension in space and the time uh, entitled uh, in Delhi system of uh, rocks uh, to be considered as a major uh, supergroup. Delhi supergroup, Delhi supergroup of uh, rocks, which are coming from very deep, deeply. Along the main axis of the folding, the thin in Orion. Uh, there are some uh, shear zones and parts are uh, commonly we can identify in this uh, group of uh, rocks, and it is also referred as a Delhi fold belt. The Delhi supergroup rocks occurs in uh, two belts. The one it is in northern fold and as a uh, northern fold, and it's uh, divided into the three uh, sub basins: Alwar, Bayana, and K3 in the Rajasthan. And second one, it is a south uh, Delhi fold. It's along with the Aravari Hills ranges in central India of Rajasthan. And this, uh, the two belts are separated in the mismatic nicest uh, uh, around by the Ajmer in the south and up to the K3 in the north. And the Delhi supergroup are also considered middle upper protozoic to Purana age. Now, there is a profound unconformity between the Delhi and Aravari supergroups. Yes, uh, the North uh, Delhi. Uh, four belt rocks are divided into the Alwar and uh, Ajabgaj uh, groups. And when you come into this uh, South to Pole belt rocks and divide into the Gogunda, Varyotia, Sendra, Rajagad, and uh, Bim groups. And next, you find a group of uh, Kalargi, and it was located in, it was located in uh, Karnataka. In the um, district of Abhidhapu, uh, and uh, Kalaki is uh, developed in a wide, uh, wide uh, shape, and the area is uh, covering uh, around about the four eight thousand uh, square kilometers. In the west and the north basins, and it's uh, considered by the Deccan Tribes. 
and color group it's again it's consisting of the undeformed segments mostly it is unfortunately parents and deposit uh, over the uh, eroded the edges of arc in uh, nicest and since it was designated uh, by name of a purana the name has given a uh, college in 1907 Again, the Karate rock or uh, earlier leg was classified into two groups. The lower and upper uh, groups is consisting of a silicious uh, stairs, uh, silicious limestones, clays, and uh, shales. The silicious limestones has uh, mythological similarities with the stratigraphy and given a supergroup stated. The lower group it is known as uh, Bagalkota group, and the sequence it is designated as the Badani group. Yeah, this is the Delhi supergroup classification. The count portion it is indicating as a Delhi north, and upper portion it is indicating as a Delhi south. And finally, it is a it has to be what I told you just now that is divided into the Ganguda, Varodia, Tenda, Rajagad, Bhima groups, and the formations mainly it has a Uh, depend on the lithological units it consists of building cis calca gneiss nice marbles and metavolcanic impure marble uh, impure marble metavolcanic uh, impure uh, marble and uh, cistus and when you come into this is a uh, uh, super uh, uh, delhi northern porch it has a uh, three groups there is a uh, Dilwara group, Alwar, and uh, Ajabgarh, and this contains the uh, quartz starlite uh, cyst fillites and ferrugineous and the cyst of elspatic cone quartz formations and the meta volcanics also we have identified and silicious dolomitic marbles we can able to see here and uh, here there is a unconformity. Was uh, identified between the Aravalli Hills and uh, Delhi Northern Group Formation. And next equivalent of uh, rock, uh, the Pathal uh, Group. The Pathal Group occurs in the Proto-Jaik Pathal Basin. It is situated into the south central part of the Peninsula uh, Chain, and it is uh, extended uh, through the states of uh, Telangana, Madhya Pradesh, and Maharashtra. Uh, the rocks of a pathal it's a consisting of the uh, gondwana in the north uh, west southeast direction along the pranahita godavari valley and form and form into the two belts uh, western and the eastern belts the king uh, william king uh, he was uh, carried out the uh, carried out his uh, field work in 1881 and uh, based he was a uh, studied uh, Uh, about the sediments in Godavari Valley and divided into the lower Pathal series and upper uh, uh, Salavai series, and it's correlated with the Karpa and the lower Ganges. And recently, the sequence in the basin is broadly divided into the Pathal uh, group, Peng Penganga, and uh, Salavai group, and also. Pathal super group is a part of it is divided into the Malang Malampalli and the Mulgu groups, and it is unconformly overlying the rocks of a Penganga group and Salavai sandstone, and moreover the Albaka sandstone it is a bed, and it is exposed, and it is exposed in the between the Mulgu and Penganga groups. The Pathal sediments mainly is consisting of a Conglomerates, sandstone, limestone, and the occurrence of a glauconite, a lower growth of a feldspar. It is indicated the sediment uh, deposition under the marine environments. And some formations also we have identified here in the pathal that is uh, in uh, stromatolites. The age around the growth of uh, middle protozoa. The mainly economic wealth of uh, uh, Karpas. It's mainly it's consisting of a copper. The K3 uh, copper belt it's extend about 80 kilometers from the Singana, 
and the next one it is the asbestos barites and the steatites these are chrysotile asbestos it's a, a cross the fiber variety of form due to the serpentination along the uh, junction zones in the top cells and the host simply dolomitic uh, limestones we can uh, identify these uh, formations in a uh, uh, simply dolomite limestones and also we have identified the barites in um, metal sedimentary sequences which are located in the manga pit in karpa district and it's mainly consisting of the volcanic activity of a sedimentary formations and the reserve estimation of our reserves here about uh, 72 million tons it's a world's largest uh, single bedded formation Indians. Uh, the upper Indians are uh, mostly developed over the greater part of uh, Indian exposures, uh, while to the lower Indians are only developed in the Son Valley. Yes, the lower lower Indians were uh, developed in the Son Valley. The Indian uh, rocks usually rest on the Karpa formations, and uh, or oh, it is a rest on the world of rocks. It's pronounced uh, by the unconformity and uh, within the Indians itself or a distinct un un unconformity. The Indian uh, supergroup um, comprises two distinct phases of the deposits. One, it is a uh, marine, uh, and second one, it, uh, one, it is a uh, marine calcareous and argillaceous with characteristically developed in the lower part. And the other almost exclusively is showing a little structural disturbance uh, in the lower Indians and also. Uh, it's a retained day, the original hard gentle uh, strata in the upper Indians. Uh, ripple marks, mud cracks, current bedding in the Indian sandstones point of the shallow estate at the water of a coast near the mouth of a river. Now, coming to this is a classification. The Indian group is divided into the four groups. Those are the Sembri, Kaimur, Reva, and Bandar in order of succession. The lower division uh, represented by the Sembri group, it's well exposed on a stone valley. And dark forest in the Madhya Pradesh. The full ground uh, monsoon, Sapur Rakauli in Rajasthan. The name Sembri group uh, comes from the Sembri River. Uh, it is in the Bijawar area of Madhya Pradesh. The group mainly it's consisting of a limestone with a subordination of amount colored shales, sandstone conglomerate, and uh, porcelain uh, beds. Uh, the porcelainite formation contains the volcanic prolex and which are uh, contemporaneous uh, with the Maloni volcanic of the western uh, Rajasthan. The fun uh, limestone and uh, Kionja formation contains the well preserved the stomata lights. The Sukit formations also we have identified in this one. When you come into the upper Indians are exposed to the great uh, uh, Indians basis and consist of a sandstone dominantly and the shale with the Yeah, the upper Indians are exposed to the great Indians in the basin and consisting of uh, sandstone dominantly and shades within the minor amount uh, of uh, limestone. And the upper Indians, it's a uh, transformably rest over the Sembri group uh, and where lower Indians are uh, missing uh, in the upper Indians. 
poverty bullet called nitis uh, there is a light in a vindhya the trace amount of n months the plant life or recorded here the only fossils that have been reported is simply in the timer groups and are a small carbonized horny dates which belong to the genus uh, similar to the nature named krishna krishnania has been described by the bedbugs of me in uh, 1954 the stomatolites uh, are all originally have been reported in various indian formations and also it has a poly matters spores algae spores and so many fungal spores also identified here and the lithological area is a marked uh, similar of the upper vindians uh, with the purple sandstone of a salt uh, range in a portwa and plateau may be uh, supported by the cambrian age these fossil records and the radiometric data it was indicated the uh, 1400 uh, million years to uh, 400 million years it is indicating the age of a uh, vindians as a mid middle to upper protozoic age yes this is a classification or a uh, of a vindian super group and uh, you see here the uh, sembri timor dreva bandar and the formations are uh, uh, upper bandar sandstone cebu shales and when you come into this is a reva upper reva sandstone jerry shales timor is coming to the timor uh, sushai brexia and shales sataram sandstone sembri uh, rohtak formation kionja sandstone and she pan limestone vindian equivalent uh, yes there are uh, equivalent of vindian uh, uh, formations probably the vindians are extended in the north uh, uh, under the indo ganga tekali vindian to form the basement of the himalayan kodi and uh, they have equivalent to the some unfossil terrace uh, of uh, the himalayan region where it is located in uttar pradesh and nepal which are uh, found in a broken into the crust uh, towards uh the typical equivalents are found we can uh, identify in the karpa basin and uh, resting of one confirmably it's over the super group and it's also uh baxter and uh, uh vertigrad um, basins are now correlated with karnul because of the lithological similarities yeah now coming to this uh, karnul group uh, the karnul group the mainly consists of uh, uh, quartzite sandstone shale limestone and unconfirmably over lies the karpa super group and uh, you see here the formations mainly it's consisting of uh, nandyal shale coil kumla manyam quartzite oak shale nadji limestone banganapal de quartzite and there is unconformity between the sort of karpa super group and karnulu super group the karnulu group sorry uh, and the lithological uh, if you identify the lithological formations it is uh, uh, the magma is consisting of a shale limestone quartzite uh, and the shale conglomerates the thickness around uh, uh, averagely it is a uh, 5200 and some of the banana pale quartz is consisting of 10 to 15 like that uh, bima group it's a bima group it's a, located in the district of gulbarga and bijapur karnataka and uh, uh, in our state also in telangana state also we have a small uh, uh, portion in eastern part of uh, rangareddy so we have occupying the area of around uh, the bima basin it's a 5200 square kilometers it is very smallest of the protozoic basins in india uh, the earlier classification group put uh, divide the strata into the lower and upper terraces and it's a remove, as per revised classification that is a uh, bundelkhand shabad formations and you see here the shabad formation and the rabanelli formations uh, it's a, there is an unconformity about the, um, there is unconformity between the archean gneisses and the uh, uh, bima formation and the more Uh, equivalents of uh, Indians, Indravati and Chhattisgarh group also, and Chhattisgarh group it's consisting of a Chandrapur uh, sandstone, uh, upper Raipur formations. The economically uh, it's very playing a very important role uh, in Indian uh, formations like uh, the source major source for the diamond, pyrite, clay, uh, and worker cement grade limestone building stones. These all will be uh, available in this one, and particularly if you buy in 
diamond bearing shape uh, we can uh, uh, found in bengal poly formations of a tunnel and the original source of the, the diamond is related to some kimberlite pipes found in the uh, megavan uh, near parna district in madhya pradesh it is a famous uh, uh, in our region and also we have uh, one more uh, uh, diamond bearing uh, pipes the gs ever uh, in the gs scientists were uh, identified in vajra karur in andhra andhra pradesh of anandpur district the oak shales in karnool district is uh, giving the good fire clay and uh, yellow ochres and some vinians uh, uh when in sandstone yield a good glass in the sandstone which is nature by weathering and other processes yeah and the next one it is a uh, uh, coming to this is a uh, indian uh, geology in indian geology it has a uh, paleozoic mesozoic uh, gondwana groups yeah gondwana groups later uh, tomorrow we will discuss the uh, remaining topics Yeah, I'm uh, stopping here. We'll discuss uh, continue with class uh, tomorrow. Thank you very much.